I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a new series on pre-calculus problem solving. This is for my IB student Joseph who will be taking calculus next semester and he wants to get ready for it. And I hope many of you will also benefit from the same. So when we will be working with calculus, there are a few things which you should be really good at. So I've given a heading here, all what you need to know to start calculus. These are a few topics, factoring, rationalization, equation of tangent line, rate of change for different functions. Now these are fairly straightforward. You can do examples from your book. Now comes the next section, which is word problems. Now I try to summarize it into three categories. The first one here is expressing situations as an equation. Normally you will be expressing situation in multiple equations then relating them. So it's a good idea to see how you can relate and write them as an equation, single equation and single variable relating others. Well, what I really mean is this, which is relating two or more variables. Uh, in functions, we could write the same thing as working with combination or composition of functions. So that's the, that's the beauty, which needs to be perfected when you work with calculus, right? To give you an example, here I've taken a very simple example, which will give you a flavor of all this. Express the hypotenuse H of a right triangle with area 25 meters square as a function of its perimeter P. So I'd like you to pause the video, answer this question, and in this series, I'm going to take many such examples, right? So we'll begin with just one, which is to express hypotenuse H of a right triangle with area 25 meters square as function of its perimeter. Right. So now let us see how to solve this question. The question here is, express the hypotenuse H of a right triangle with area 25 meters square as a function of its perimeter. So let's sketch a triangle first. And let us say this is our right triangle. And let the sides be A, B, and hypotenuse H. From Pythagorean theorem, we can relate the sides with hypotenuse. So we can write A square plus B square equals to H square. Correct? We know the area is 25 meters square. We know area equals to 25. And area can be expressed as half of A and B. So area is equals to half base, which is A, times height, which is B. So that gives us an equation relating the sides of the triangle, the shorter sides, as half of their product equals to 25. Now, we can also write what perimeter is. Perimeter is sum of all the sides, should be equal to A plus B plus H. So in a way, we have all the relations between different parameters or variables for this particular question. As you can see, A, B, H and P are four different variables. And what we need to do here is we have to write hypotenuse as a function of P. That means we want to know what is hypotenuse as a function of P, right? This is what we need to figure out. How can we do it, right? That is the major question. Now to begin with, we know that A plus B whole square is equal to A square plus 2ab plus b square. Now in our expression, we can say that a square plus b square is h square 
2ab we could get from this area expression. So what we are going to do is we'll just multiply this equation by 4. So if we do that, we get 100 equals to 2ab. So we can substitute 2ab as 100. We can actually substitute a square plus b square as h square. Do you see that? a square plus b square as h square. So let's do that first. So we have a plus b whole square equals 2. Let me rewrite. So I'll rewrite this as a square plus b square plus 2ab and then I'll make the substitution. a square plus b square is h square and 2ab is 100. Right? So we did a square plus b square as h square and 2ab as 100. Now what is a plus b whole square? a plus b whole square you can also see. So it's very important when you're work with, working with many variables, look for their relations, right? That's key. Look for their relations. So we do see that a plus b could be written as difference of p and h. So I can write from here p minus h equals to a plus b. Do you see that? So a plus b could be written as p minus h. So let me write this as p minus h whole square. So now you can see we have a relation in which h is a function of p. It is only a question of isolating h. So that's the second step. So at least we have a relation where there are only two variables. So we began with four variables. We landed with two now. Perfect. Now how to go about? Well, a simple way is let us just expand the left side. A minus B whole square, I mean P minus H whole square could be written as P square minus 2PH plus H square. On the right side, we have H square plus 100. You see that? Now h square and h square cancel, so we have p square minus 2ph equals to 100, right? Both these h square, h square cancel, right? We can cancel them. We need to isolate h, so I'll bring in this to the right side and say p square minus 100 is equals to 2ph. Divide by 2p, we get p squared minus 100 divided by 2p equals to h. Do you see we got a relation? So we can write this as h as a function of perimeter as equals to p squared minus 100 divided by 2p. So in function notation, we write like this. So some of you may not be familiar with it. Uh, so you get familiarized with function notation. That's very important. So if you have taken up functions or advanced functions, that will surely help you to get started with calculus on a good note. So I hope you understand how we need to work with these variables, simplify them and form an equation. So a lot of skills you may have to develop to really do well in calculus. This is just the beginning, the very first example. I'll be taking similar examples in this list and I'll like to have your suggestions and views. Feel free to share my videos and if you like and subscribe, that'd be great. Thanks and all the best.